On September 6, 1976, Lieutenant Viktor Belenko of the Soviet Air Defense Forces defected by flying his Mikoyan Gurevich MiG 25P Foxbat aircraft from near Vladivostok in the far east of the Soviet Union to Hakodate Airport in Hokkaido Prefecture of Japan. Belenko's defection caused tension between Japan and the Soviet Union, especially after Japanese and American specialists disassembled and examined the aircraft. Belenko was granted political asylum in and later citizenship of the U.S., where he became a military consultant, public speaker, and businessman. Belenko later visited Moscow in 1995, after the end of the Soviet Union. Belenko was not the only pilot to have defected from the Soviet Union in this way or the first such to defect from a Soviet bloc country. The infrastructure in the base was severely lacking, the troops' morale was low, and when Belenko made suggestions, he was only derided by the political officer. That contributed to Belenko becoming disillusioned with the communist system. On September 6, 1976, Belenko and several other pilots from his squadron of the Soviet Air Defense Force took off from Chugayevka Air Base around 190 kilometers from Vladivostok on a training flight. Belenko followed the flight plan at first, climbing before descending rapidly and heading out to sea. At around 1.10 p.m., Japanese radar detected Belenko's plane and at around 1.20 p.m., two F-4EJ fighters of the 302nd Tactical Fighter Squadron took off from Chitose Air Base near Sapporo. Belenko's map of Hokkaido had shown only Chitose Air Base, and he had planned to land there. The weather was very cloudy and the Japanese ground radar was not able to adequately track Belenko's aircraft. Belenko circled Hakodate three times and landed at the airport. Belenko had intended to land at a military airbase and had not planned to arrive at a civilian airport. Belenko was arrested by Hokkaido police for violating Japanese airspace and firearms offenses. When interviewed by the police, he requested political asylum in the US. The Soviets requested an interview with Belenko and for him to be returned to their custody. On September 7, Belenko was moved to Tokyo, and on September 8, the US announced that it had granted him political asylum. On September 9, a representative from the Soviet embassy met with Belenko and tried to convince him to return to the Soviet Union but was unsuccessful. Belenko left Japan on a Northwest Orient Airlines flight for the US. On September 9, the Ministry of Justice gave jurisdiction over the MiG to the Defense Agency. The Soviet Union insisted that Belenko had lost his way and later that he had been drugged by the Japanese. Japanese fishing vessels were seized and their crews imprisoned in what was thought to be retaliation for Japan not returning Belenko and not sending the MiG back promptly. There were fears that there could be a Soviet attack or attempt to recover the aircraft by air or Soviet agents. With multiple Soviet military aircraft bases close to Hokkaido the F-4EJ fighter aircraft of the JASDF conducted 24-hour patrols over Hokkaido in order to intercept any incoming aircraft. When Belenko left his base on September 6, he had brought a training manual for the aircraft, expecting that he would be demonstrating it to the US Air Force. Given the Soviet pressure to return the aircraft, Japan did not permit the US to take the aircraft or to fly it. Eventually, it was packed up into around 40 boxes and was returned to the Soviet Union. The Soviets complained that around 20 pieces were missing. On November 15, it was shipped from Hitachi in Ibaraki to the Soviet Union. Viktor Belenko moved to the US, was debriefed extensively by the CIA and US military, learned English, and gradually adapted to life in the US. The story of his life in the Soviet Union, his defection and his early time in the US was written by John Barron in the book MiG Pilot, The Final Escape of Lieutenant Belenko, published in 1980. Belenko later became a consultant to the US military and aerospace industry, a public speaker and businessman. The Soviet government was extremely displeased with the situation and sent Japan a demand for $10 million for the damage to the plane. Japan charged the Soviets $40,000 for the damage to Hakodate Airport and shipping costs. Belenko's flight had been a defection and not an attack but had highlighted shortcomings in Japan's air defense system. Prior to Belenko's defection, the outside world had very little knowledge about the MiG-25. The breaching of secrecy around the MiG-25 meant that it could be exported outside the Soviet Union, which it was. After the dissolution of the Soviet Union, it was also operated by the successor states Armenia, Belarus, Georgia, Kazakhstan, Russia, Turkmenistan and Ukraine. The MiG-31 Foxhound was already in development at the time of Belenko's defection and had first flown in September 1975. Belenko was aware of the Super Foxbat and informed the US after his defection. The MiG-31 was to gradually replace the MiG-25 in Soviet and later in Russian service. 
The U.S. was unable to keep Belenko's MiG-25P in 1976 but eventually obtained an Iraqi MiG-25 after the 2003 invasion of Iraq.